Well, hello, welcome again to a reading of Odyssey Book 4, and I got up to line 609. And Menelaus has been speaking with Telemachus. Menelaus has offered Telemachus some gifts, including horses and a chariot, which Telemachus uh, politely has declined. Uh, he's tried to do so in a pleasant way without upsetting his host. And Menelaus now replies. And Telemachus, of course, is keen to get back to Ithaca. Host Phato made ascend depoen agathos Menelaus. And thus he spoke, that is, Menelaus, but, uh, sorry, the, uh, T Telemachus, but Menelaus, good at the war cry, made a sin from Medao, he smiled, because he knows that. Um, Telemachus is being very polite and he wants to get back home and so he's, he's wise enough to get the message. Kairi temin katereksin epos tefat ek tonamazden. And now this is from kataresdo, which has that sense of to stroke. It's used elsewhere. It's kataresdo, to stroke or caress. So he, he stroked or he touched him with his hand and he spoke a word and called him by name. The second part of this line is a stock um, phrase out of her, in Homer. Hymatos eis agathoio philon tekos hoi agarues. Uh, my dear tekos, my dear child, really literally, tekos is connected with tiptoed bear, it's not really his child, but Perhaps my dear boy. Ace is for uh, Attic A with a circumflex, meaning you are. And we get this genitive here. So you are from, it's that um, ablatival genitive. So you are from good blood. Such things you are speaking. So given what you've just said, it's clear that you are from good blood. Toiga ego, therefore I... Metastaso from Metastami, um, I will exchange these things for you. Now, what he means here is, of course, that Menelaus has offered to give Telemachus horses and a chariot, and Telemachus very politely says, well, they're not going to be of much use to me on Ithaca, because it's very mountainous and we don't really, it's not a place where horses run. Well, give me something else. And so uh, Men uh, Menelaus says, I will exchange. Perhaps almost I will rectify these things for you. Literally, I will exchange these things for you. Dunamiga, for I am able to. Doron de hos en emo oiko kemelia ketai. Of the gifts, as many as double sigma for the, to make a long syllable, as many as are uh, Kamalia treasures, as many treasures as lie in my house. Now we get mute, mute to plural singular verb, as happens most of the time in Homer. So of the gifts, those treasures which lie in my house, as many as lie in my house, doso, uh, future from Didomi, I will give Hot, that which, relative pronoun there, I will give that which um, is uh, is most beautiful and most precious. From Tim May Ace, and those third declension adjectives. So the ace becomes an is, and then you get the tarton, that uh, superlative ending here. So whichever is the most beautiful and the most costly. And I will give to you a tetugmenon, a wrought, uh, perhaps uh, constructed createra mixing bowl. So um, some people put in a U here and say well-made mixing bowl. It's been pointed out that, that at this stage things that are made uh, are still un uncommon. And uh, something which is crafted might be a good word for this here. So I'll give you a crafted mixing bowl. And th these things are out of the ordinary at this, back in the Mycenaean period, of course. Uh, Agurios de estin hapas. Uh, it is, 
completely agurios, uh, silver. This is a nominative here. So it is all silver, uh, but um, kekra antai is from the verb krino, to finish. So it has, this is a, this is a perfect passive here. It has been finished, epikalia, on the lip that is on the edge, uh, cruso with gold. So the edge of the rim, perhaps on the rim, would be good for that. It has been finished on the rim with gold. And it's the work of Hephaestus. Now Hephaestus, of course, is the god of craftsmanship um, and of um, things that are made or constructed. Poron de he Phaedimos Hyros, the hero Phaedimos. Poron, well, it generally occurs in this form. There is a later verb, porisdo, to provide, and this is just um, an aorist from that same root, that poor root. So the hero Phaedimos provided he for out on it. So he gave it to me. The king of the Sidonians. Hoth, now notice you've got a hard breathing here. This is hot te. The epsilon's elided before that epsilon, and then the hard breathing here is made tore into a theta. So this is really hot te. So when heos is a personal adjective, meaning so it's his, and it's nominative agreeing with domos. So when his house, amphicalupse, it's a lovely verb here, it literally means enfolded, so it's got the idea of sheltered, gave shelter to. So when his house uh, gave shelter to me, uh, Casey there, me as after I had returned back. So on his way back, when he's gotten almost home, he takes shelter in this place. So this is uh, on the well, having returned back, is the king of the Sidonians. De Ethelo, um, and I wish Opasai from Opasdo, this is the aorist infinitive, to give this tain for soy. You get this form now and again in Homer, tain for soy. I wish to give this same attain to you. Now, the, there's a complete break almost now with just this one line connecting. So this is really the end of the story of Telemachus uh, being in Sparta. He's still got to get back, of course, to Ithaca. But um, we now, the, the camera turns completely. I often think in Homer it's a little bit like, uh, Homer's like a cameraman. He shines the, points the camera in one direction and you see all the action and suddenly he'll turn it in a different direction. That's what's happening here. And it's just introduced by this line here. Um, or these couple of lines. Some scholars think this may be a later interpolation because it's such a jarring thing. But on the other hand, um, you do get this shift of the camera in Homer from time to time and we're getting it here. So, hos hoimen toyauta proseleilus agoruon. And thus, now we get a hoi men and the balanced by the debt. So they, that is Menelaus and um, Telemachus, were speaking such things to one another. But, and now the camera goes back to Ithaca, to the halls of Odysseus. The daitumones, these are the, di the, uh, the diners, those who are having dinner, Isan is from Amy Ibo, and there's the root it here. So the diners came into the halls, into the houses of the divine king. That is, of course, Odysseus. Uh, and But they, uh, Aegon from Ago, they were bringing in, now we get a men and a de, so it's almost some of them were bringing in Mela, sheep, and others understood Pharaoh from imperfect without augment. Others were bringing in wine, Euanora. Uh, it's a word meaning this connected with un, with anor or aner, 
uh, a man, so this is of benefit to men, those, that which gladdens the heart of men. This is an adjective that's only apparently used of wine and bronze here of wine. So some of them were bringing in sheep and others were carrying um, wine which gladdens the heart of men. Sit on de, but the alakoi, the wives, with their kali kraid menoi. Now a kraid, a kraidem non is a veil. So this is with beautiful veiled women. If Pempon were sending uh, sit on food generally, I mean it is grain or something, but I think it's just meant to be generally food. Spit, this is an iota, uh, no, probably an epsilon dropped out here, spit to them. Um, it, sorry, it could be a spi for spizzy, but it just means to them. I'm not sure what case this would take here. It may be spi for spizzy. So um, the the wives were sending the wives with their beautiful veils were sending in food for them. And thus, now we get a hoi men, and it's going to be balanced by the deck here. So thus, some of them. Pen on top from penamai. Now penamai it means to um, uh, to um, make or prepare to be busy at a work. So they were busy. We would say at the supper. So were busying themselves in regard to the supper in the halls. But the suitors. Paroi then in front of the hall of Odysseus, Terponto, they were enjoying themselves from Terpomai. They were enjoying themselves with uh, discuses, so they're throwing discuses, and Hientes, participle from Hiami, uh, to hurl, and so they were enjoying themselves with discuses and hurling. Iganiacin is a funny word. It means javelins. It's possibly cognate with a iso, which is the dart. So a javelin is something which darts about. So sending forth or hurling their javelins. En tukto da pedo. There's another one of these very vague words here of constructed. It's connected with chuko to make. So it's literally... Uh, on the constructed floor. In other words, they seem to have some kind of specially made area, perhaps just leveled out, um, in which they do, they're enjoying themselves with their discuses and so on. So we could some translate this as on the level ground, dapida or floor. Again, it's uh, the idea of something being made or constructed is a a novel idea in Homer. Uh, so, Hothi Per Paros Hubrine Contes. Slightly tricky expression here, I thought. So, um, it's when uh, they understand they were very, uh, or where indeed they were previously having insolence, literally. So it's something like um, being insolent just as they were before. So having insolence uh, where previously uh, indeed they did. So um, being insolent, being just as insolent as before might be a good translation of that. Antinous de Cathesto Eurymachus Theoedes and Antinous sat there Cathami and Eurymachus, the and godlike Eurymachus, these Arkoi, these leaders of the suitors, and they were uh, Esan for Azan, it's unaugmented, so they were the best men. Oka is that adverbial word meaning by far, excessively. So they were the best by far. Arate, well, possibly not in virtue, because they're not very virtuous, but um, uh, perhaps you could translate this as status. They're the leaders of the suitors, so they have high status. So they were the best by far, Arate, 
Perhaps you could translate this as in status rather than in virtue. But the uh, this is a lovely names here. Noemon from Neoia. So Noemon's the guy's name, and he's the son of Phronios. But the names mean thoughtful, the son of clever. Uh, he having come near to them making inquiry with words asking with words he addressed Antinous or perhaps he addressed Antinous with words Ani Aerominos asking him a question Antinot the vocative here Epsilon probably dropped out here so oh, Antinous uh, Era te idmin any fresin a kai uki. So Aira is introducing a question here. Idmin from Oida. Do we do we know t at all in our hearts or do we not? In other words, do we have any idea or not? Hopoti as when Telemachus Nate is from Natai, it's a present with a future sense really. Uh, when uh, Telemachus will come from Sandy Pylos. So do we have any idea in our minds, or do we not, that when, when, when Telemachus is going to come from Sandy Pylos? Neamoi oiket agon, for he has gone off from oikomai, taking agon, as we leading, so taking my ship, so he's gone off taking my ship. Do we know when he's going to come home? Eme de creo gignatai autes. Now creo, again, this is not a verb but a noun here for, for need. Um, we see the cre with an eater here as well used as a noun. So there is need of it, that is of the ship, for me. So I need my ship. Dear uh, Bam and I, to go across into uh, perhaps spacious broad broad spaced earless so into spacious earless so I have I have need of it to go into it spacious earless and there uh, are understood dodeca the uh, lay hippoi so female horses and so mares so there are there twelve mares for me. Hoopot is oddly used here, but you see examples of it elsewhere. It means literally underneath, but it's in, in the sense of at the teat. So there are um, Tala Ergoi, hard working, generally interpreted there, Admetes, unbroken uh, mules. These, it's hemi, half, and onos, a donkey, so a mule. So there are there a 12 uh, female, 12 mares for me, and there are hard working, unbroken um, mules, hooper, at the teat. Tone can tin of those. Elisaminos is connected with Elauno to drive, having driven off a certain one of them. Damasimane is from Damasdo, this is an optative, so I would tame it, so I would like to tame it. In other words, driving off one of these, I would like to tame it. And that is the uh, end of this section of book four.